Check in people, what are going? Big up on yourself and you don't know. Respect to all of the viewers and subscribers. And guess what, people? Give thanks to 7k subscribers. I say when I say so my time to all the thing I move fast, I can't even keep track of it. But give thanks it I'm moving at the right speed. You see it. So if I first time I pass you, subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. You see it, we have a couple things to talk about. So we see we are pretty done. Blast Serpy and also DPP Paula Llewellyn. And you don't know that is in defense of Vibes Cartel. Pretty than talk up a number of things. We are going to make on the ear exactly what she say, what a, um, reasoning she argue from, and all of those things. You see what I say, people? Yeah, man. And we also see where, you know, a couple of years ago, Futa Hype spoke on the Vibes Cartel case. And I say, he never really trust the result from the Prisby Council because he's saying that Vibes Cartel are trying to escape the Jamaica Court of Appeal and all of these places. If get justice in the Privy Council and them send him right back to where him basically run from. And we see where Futa Hype was met with a lot of backlash and so forth. And based on what we see going on right now, we have to wonder if Futa Hype was right. We are going to check out exactly what him did say and see the people him can weigh in and tell me what them think. Also, we are see where a PNP supporter is blaming Andrew Oles for... You know, Vibes Cartel imprisonment. You see what I mean? I say, he is saying that Andrew Oles personally extend the DPP role solely for whole Vibes Cartel in a prison people. Cha -cha -noa. So the man never go hard. So we are looking to all of that as well. You see, we also see where Cargo has gotten advice from a popular entertainer, a popular artist. And you know, the artist is saying that he, he should learn to control his emotion. And that would be in light of the whole argument between cargo and a couple of gaza fans you see when i say cargo we are in a vibes cartel situation and was met with backlash and also threats from a couple of gaza fans i don't know a lot of things stack up people and when i see where a jlp supporter is accusing mark golden of feeling miserable to present an alternative plan that would put the country forward instead the man i say i'll be a mix up on them thing there uh, Mark Golden got present to the people. You see what I say, people? And we also see where Prime Minister Andrew Wallace used video evidence to prove that Mark Golden, you know, utterances about the Speaker of the House was hypocritical because it clearly showed that he was in Parliament when the Speaker was being selected and him and other members of the PNP was in agreement. So, one bag of things, my people, you see it? So, do the right thing, subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. You don't know how the thing go. Respect and manners to all of who they are deal with it on the level, you see it? Me go in our topics. Then. So, starting out this video, we'd see we're pretty done. You know, during our vlogging, our live stream vlogging, she would have hit out hard at Justice Lennox Campbell and also the DPP, Paula Llewellyn. That's why I say people, yeah man, she is saying that them are corruption and them allow a TNT juror to go through a system and actually get a conviction out of Vibes Cartel when it went to the Privy Council and them say, yo, that should have been retried and start over. That's why I say people, so on that note, she has said, yo, them are corruption and she is saying that since... Justice Lennox stepped down, Paula Llewellyn should have done the same. She don't really understand where Paula Llewellyn still up there do my people. You see what I say? So that is what um pretty Dan is saying. And she even take time out to launch a attack on Serpy as well. You see what I say? Referring to Serpy as a system dog basically. You see what I say, people? Yeah man, I say him not rate get a youth, he not rate people off. You know, her kind and them type of thing, the people. So, you don't know how the thing go. And it kind of, you know, the other day, the mother here, um, pretty than I say, well, when it comes to Serpy, if we him say no go so it near go so and you know him are one of the most credible bloggers you see it but right now it look like the tables turn and fire a bun you see what I say so we could take a listen to what pretty than is saying and we see what the people them have to say about this check it out step down you are corruption miss Lewin you are corruption remember a privy council said so why you and Lennox Still make the corrupted blood clot jury still there on the blood class stand. Remember that was one of the reasons why them they send it back to blood clot uno. Because you miss Lewin, you miss Lennox, did make one blood clot corrupted jury stay upon the same way. And why you're still in a power, me no know. You should have stepped down too. You should have stepped down too. See, we like how blood clot Lennox stepped down. You did for fucking step down too. 
because you are corruption. You are one of the biggest corruption them in Ikea's. They are more, every time corruption go on in Ikea's, your name was right there. And I don't know how come you are still DPP. You should have stepped down a long time and give somebody else that chance. First of all, you old from your seven. I'm your 32 now. You are whole dirty long time mommy. I mean, I know what the blood clot you still are doing here. Because from me know myself, from when poor are young, you whole. I mean, I know how the blood clot you still are doing here. You are one blood clot monument to Jamaica. That me a blood clot tell you. You come in like a statue of Bob Marley. People have come to see it. If you believe it, blood clot. You, you need to break up your folly grounds. Low the youth. Whatever he hit the half the vibes cartel, do the case the right way. And make a youth have a fair trial. Allegedly, whole heap of things was said about you, about people. And allegedly, we can't contact them. You hear me? I tell you, and you need to go, go hush up thinking mode, Serpy, you know. All I know are pay thinking frozy, Serpy. You can't stop now, Serpy. We all are we done, sister, your government, dog. Who all always say your government drunk? Who all always say your government pigeon? Go and go fly underneath Louis. You hear that? We know you are none of us. So when you big up your patron, none of them are not we. None of them are not blood clot we. So you can big them up all you want. Big up all like police them who follow you. All like government officials them. And go and go near me, mama, my father. You see me, I say, yeah. You see me, we talk tell people about them, mother. Go and go suck out your girl, my father. And jump in one of your sister them. You see me, I say. And you're not going to reboot yourself in one of your auntie. You see me, I say. Move your bum buckle. Hey, you little YouTuber. Go and go fall up yourself underneath your auntie. Turn it on Coco Bird. And you're around. You see me, I say. Yeah, I'm shit, man. I'm good. So that is pretty dance viewpoint, you know. And it very interesting to see the feedback or what the people have after say. You see what I say? Will this reach the ears of Serpy? Will he respond? I don't know people, you see. Yeah, man, you can't really predict how them man they do them things. You see what I mean? I say? But at the end of the day, that is what um, Pretty Dan is saying. And, you know, she has said what she has said, brawling. She not hide, you see. But tell me about the points so, or the things she make. If she actually makes sense with what she has said or what she has talk of foolishness. Or it's just, and it just has to come down to a case where um, Pretty Dan fans would agree with what she has said and Serpy fans would disagree. You know, but I'm more interesting for hear where the people them where they pan more a neutral standpoint with us clutch back and I watch the proceedings. But I want to hear exactly what one think about what is being said by pretty done people. You see what I mean? I say? Yeah man, she has said yeah, um Justice Lennox stepped down, the DPP should have stepped down too as well. And when it comes on to Sir P, you know, he probably have like a personal Vendetta against Vibes Cartel. That is the type of argument which you put forward. But let me hear what I say. It next up, people, when I see we are a PNP supporter, you know, tackle the whole Vibes Cartel case as well. And his pin when put to it, it is that he is blaming Prime Minister Andrew Ollis and kind of framing the argument as if, you know, Andrew Ollis wants Vibes Cartel behind bars. Now, how him come to that conclusion, people, he is saying that. When it comes on to the DPP, the DPP should have retired, you see what I mean, I say? And them gave, gave, gave the DPP an extension in office. And he is saying that he not really see no reason why the DPP got an extension. The only reason he can come up with is the fact that, you know, she will be used as a weapon to fight against cartel and have him remaining in prison people. That is what um the the, the 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 supporter is saying people so what you are going we're going to take a listener to what he's saying and you can tell me if you don't agree or you disagree if him have a point or him don't have a point check this out people morning family morning top of the morning the daughter was speaking greeting the name of him people majesty yashua when i speak of jlp people and when i speak in my vehicle and Based upon the response, I can know this man is a JLP. I don't know if you think like me or study people like me. A JLP person is negative, and I say it all the time, and I will say it again and again and again. I think all of who sentenced in prison need a retrial. Not from Paula Llewellyn. 
Because Paula Lewin said from her mouth, Paula Lewin didn't send many you to prison. Now, Paula is about to make a new change of law just to keep cartel underground again. Just like how is the first I've ever seen a man go to prison without an evidence. And now Paula is changing again. Now we see the reason why Andrew Wallness, Andrew Blood Clot Wallness, extend the date of Paula Llewellyn, the DPP, date of retirement, only for Paula Llewellyn. That means the police that will retire could have go back and work or do one five more years every Paula extend. And the people that get retired from um, them work is at 60 to 65. So Paula Llewellyn get extended date to cover up rural read weekly the whole life blood clap man and what if Paula Llewellyn time get more time to free them and think cartel Jamaica people Jamaica people wanna see who is JLP wanna see who is JLP now little boy and little girl What's the one who wants the JLP government na power now? Who no get enough now? I don't want more. Who no need more? All you see a drop coming for you, so I want them too. These negative motherfuckers, I want them too. Look upon them, people. You have wicked people in the earth. Wicked blood clad people and them still there. Murderers, JLP. Wicked People, so that is what PNP supporter Outer Road is saying, my people. You see what I say? Yeah, man. So, I'm address the situation, brawling, and have him spin towards the JLP. I say, yo, bro, God, you know, recruit back Paul Llewellyn for World Bank Cartel. Tell me if it makes sense or if I rubbish people. You see it? Yeah, man. And also, with us, we are Cargo, popular dancehall artist Cargo, got some. Advice from another popular dancehall artist, people. You see what I say? A reggae artist, per se. Um, he is saying that, you know, Cargo needs to control his emotions and, you know, just kind of quell along with what I say. And it would be in light of the whole argument with the Gaza Nation, people. You see? Yeah, man. I would have where Cargo step out and blaze a fire and, you know, even apologize to some of the things that I say. Like, you know, cartel for rotten or prison and so forth. I say, yo, him overstepping boundary. But, you know, him blaze up a fire and make some points and it kind of stem from the fact that cargo we are in the situation and say yo the gaza nation free remain humble and you know don't go around disrespecting the dpp and all of these people and up store a answers because it may work against cartel favor you see it and you don't know it cause a bag of bangarang because a lot of people seemingly are saying it's the right message but it's the wrong messenger. We don't want to hear nothing from cargo so a badness, a kill, bundle and all of them things. You see what I say? However, we don't see where, you know, popular entertainer Shaquille Murray had some stuff to say as it relates to cargo. So check this out, people. Think cargo, you have to learn to control your emotion in a bridge, eh? I hear the eyes say a thing about humbleness and an in a lion mouth. And you got rushed by some people. And as a public figure, they come out in the public and lose it. And the eyes say some things, you know. Sasha? Against a one and turn around in the same breath and I apologize, which is good. But I know what you did say now. And how you say it. And you see. You could have made one million apology. You did say it already. That are the thing. You say it already and you can't take it back. Because just like what the little you would say in you know, an interview, you know. You see, what you did do, yeah. you can't nobody did do it. That means what you did say, you can't nobody did say it. And a union cargo is a public figure. And a you say, make we humble yourself. And if you're in a lion mode, take time and dry it out. But in the long run, you make the people them dry out. And you never did humble. And you push up your hand up in a lion mode. And you never take your time and dry it out. It's like you push up your hand further in the lion mode, brother. So I tell you, I say, humble. Practice what you preach. Humble too. It's what I deal with. Yeah, man, you can't fight fire with fire. You have to fight fire with water, bro. 
So you hear me I said, no, my brother, Jay. I know say, it is of our Jamaican constitutional rights to speak up in regards to the public and what are going on in our country. Whether if it is regards to the governments. As long as a man not disrespect, it is everyone right to come out and ask questions. Also give advice to as long as you know I disrespect no one, I treat no one life. So car go you me as a man. Go easy, my brother. Rastafari. One love. Me shocking Murray said that. Yeah, my people, that is what Shocking Murray is saying. I see it and ones may agree, some may disagree. I see it because a lot of people may disagree with cargo conduct and that um rant that he went on, but a lot of people agree and I say cargo right with the way I say. You see what I mean? I say people, so it depends upon what side of the kind of the and how you view it. You see it and as me say, me even though you know, as I say, cargo would have said some real extreme things, me kinda understand. The, um, why him kind of reaches so even though it wasn't vibes cartel himself who irritated him people but you don't know him I, I guess he must say yo I put forward an argument from a perspective where it made sense and it wasn't meant to be no disrespect towards anyone I just talk with a talk with sense and you know people are trying to bad up and bully the thing unnecessarily so I just assure them say you can't bad me up you can't bully me you see what I say that is what I kind of get from Oh, cargo frame him thing still, people. You see it? But tell me what you think about what Shaquille Murray is saying. Check people that see where Prime Minister Andrew Wallace is blazing a fire on Mark Golden, pointing out how hypocritical Mark Golden is in his view. You see what I mean? I say, people, yeah, man. And the Prime Minister would have show a video, post a video on his Instagram. And the video that he posted, it is clearly showing that when the Speaker of the House, which is his wife, Juliet Wallace, was being selected, there were PNP members, including Mark Golden, who said he wasn't at the selection. People were clearly in Parliament at that time, people. As I may say, so why a thing really not look good? As it and the funny thing, we I see a couple of even the PNP members, them even are congratulate. Um, Juliette Owens and I wish her well and all of these things, you see. That's why me did really a question it and I say, yo, you know, me don't really understand all of our one because if them did really take this thing so serious, them would have object from the get go, even from when she a deputy speaker and so forth, because they, they are just one rank up to become the speaker if you are a deputy speaker. So that would have still be a powerful position where you're supposed to have object if you feel like you know it's that threatening to the country or so forth. You see it, and as me say, when me really view it, there is no rules or anything where states say the prime minister wife or a prime minister husband if the prime minister is a female cannot be the speaker or the host still you see what I mean I say but we understand all of the political strategies and so forth so basically Mark Golden launch an attack and this is Andrew Owens clapping back and I say well brother you are telling people them say you have a problem with this and this is a conflict of interest remember say you did in a parliament to agree to the same thing and the people them asked three times and you decide if you not object none of the time them gonna say we're not good with it so why are they complain now check this out people i beg to nominate the member of parliament for the great constituency of east rural saint andrew mrs juliet holness to become the speaker of the house madam clark i beg to second the motion are there any further nominations no! Are there any further nominations? No. Are there any further nominations? No. I join with my colleague in congratulating you on the ascension to the chair of speaker of this great house. We wish you well. We want you, we genuinely want you to do well so that your tenure can be very successful. A major impulse that brought me here today was to see you in your elevated oh. condition. Oh. Under the 
head of parliament is now the spouse of the head of government really does not sit well with the tradition that the speaker must act independently of the government of the day. We wish you well. We want you, we genuinely want you to do well. MPP is rubbish. These are just scones because they hit rock bottom. Madam Speaker, the opposition takes no issue with what the minister has announced. Madam Speaker, the opposition takes no issue with what the minister has announced. The Labour Party will remove income tax from the salaries of approximately 118,000 workers. From income tax PAY workers earning $1.5 million or less is not workable or feasible. It is also time to increase the income tax threshold. So that is that. And as we say, it's fine if you look at it from a tribalistic um, viewpoint where you are diarted PNP or diarted JLP and you just look in a one direction. That's fine, that's it. But for people where just not really an on PNP or a JLP or just Jamaican citizens where care about the betterment of the country would have probably just have a different viewpoint on it and just look at it as political gimmick still because that's how me see it. You know, me just look at it as you know, probably them did not just try to rile up or entertain the people because it not really make no sense to me, you know. Not that me I say, you know, you can't question the fact that um, Juliet Owens, which is the Prime Minister wife, hold that position in our people. But I am saying, you can't agree to it and then you go question it. You see, if you question it, you question it. If you, if you not question it, you leave it alone. I don't see it. You can't, have both, you can't do both things at once. It just now go sit well with people with absence. That's what we as a people. So that is that. Yeah, man. So tell me all the things still. And, you know, with us see where a JLP supporter also, I say, yo, when it come on to Mark Golden, he not really have a plan for the country. You see what I say? Because he went to make him presentation and him turn it in a mix up. You see people and, you know, the young man that point out certain things that was said and so forth. You don't know you have the people who look deep in the whole political arena and him raise a couple of points where you know, can't take into consideration people. So check out this and tell me what you think about what this young man is saying. Today presented a clear, a very clear pathway for the People's National Party to present an alternative plan to the people of Jamaica or we, um, the stewardship of our country and economy and to me they have failed miserably to find to show us an alternative plan what they did was come and puff and huff and there was no substance to the presentation now several promises were made to the people of jamaica with regards to goodies you know and we were looking forward to see how the opposition leader would fund these promises and to avail there was none now what i saw was him trying to implement um, policies and programs that were already implemented or are in the process of being implemented. Um, also ideas that are already on paper made suggestions, um, the suggestion made by the, um, by the government. So, you know, fail miserably again. And, you know, to my, to what totally amazed me was him trying to destroy the image of what the House Speaker represents in our Parliament. Now, she was a Deputy House Speaker before there was no objection. And when she was duly nominated, there was no objection by the opposition team. Uh, a matter of fact, they also seconded the motion for her to become um, House Speaker. Now, to use and weaponize that, in my opinion, is just hitting way, way, way low below the belt. Now, as we can remember, there was a comment made in Parliament about Mr. Golin being Marsa Mark and the entire opposition bench was disturbed, they were disgruntled, they walked out of Parliament, right, for a comment such as Marsa Mark. Now when you have tried to destroy a woman that has moved up in rank, you know, in leadership within our country and you try to destroy her and tear her down it tells me a lot about you as a person and also there is no rule or law in our constitution that prevents uh, a, a woman or a man from becoming house speaker just because their spouse is um 
and prime minister. There is none. Now, what I would expect if the opposition leader finds fault with such a position is to present a alternative law that prevents this from happening. Instead, they have not. You know, they have tried to distract and score three political points, but I wish and hope that education, educated Jamaicans are listening and watching to see that, listen, the People's National Party don't have a plan for us. You know, they are just after power as usual, you know, to really kitty and, 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 and make everything look fancy dancy. Then they tax us from left, right and center. So be careful, Jamaica. Yeah, my people, tell me what you think about what the young man is saying. You know, he is saying that, yeah, yeah when it comes out to Mark Golin, he was expecting that, you know, they would have certain amount of plans and so forth for the country and so forth. But he not really see that. He is seen just a bunch of talking and him not see nowhere where there was present him not see where they presented any um argument where they might allocate the funds for fund all the way and talk about people. It's just talking and sounding pretty and so forth. And as me say, you have a lot of people, especially on all these channels, like all the channels where follow up the thing politically and in depth. So you can wait in and tell me what you think about what this JLP supporter is saying if him have a point or him don't have a point the people is it so watch what you are going on we also would have see we are footer hype when I say footer hype you know come out you know when when, when the vibes cartel verdict did just hand down from the privy council and him make a couple of speech people and me think he was dealt unfairly and me feel like him receive a lot of unnecessary backlash because his argument was similar to cargo he was saying that you know him not him advise the people him against disrespecting the dpp and all of these people as well as say and he was saying that him never really like the the, the way or the, the judgment where the privy council passed he must say yo them basically take vibes cartel for fool because them could have easy well quash and quell the whole thing but them decide say you know, them are going to carry through the things said we. As I say, people. So, as I say, when I really look back on it, I wonder and I say, um, you know, the whole excitement and majority, 90% of the people, things say, by now, cartel are free up and so forth. You know, but based on things cooling down and even a retrial look possible, me there and I wonder if footer hype was right, people. So we are gonna look into a bit of um, pieces of what footer hype actually said, people. And you can tell me if footer hype actually had a point. So take a listen at these people. Oh, huh? Uno, some of the Vibes Cartel fans make Vibes Cartel life harder in a prison. You know that? Uno did no say summer uno vibes cartel fans make it out of a vibes cartel can to chat too much. Yesterday me see a man on social media. Me no know if I me no know if I cloud him a look at what, but you never help cartel yesterday. The man go up on the something and say yes cartel can this. Lolo lo, 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 in now and him can tell her if he got so good and him can. My youth, you now make it easier for the DJ. You now make it easier for the DJ. As a matter of fact, you now face a gaz out of your mouth. Come and never see you a different cartel in the first trial when cartel just get locked up. You come now in a social media time and look clout off of the man name. Based on something when you're done yet. Oh, you have to do that. How oh, dumb are you if you really love Vibes Cartel? And you see them say, Cartel's fate is now in the hands of the Jamaica Appeal Court. Why the fuck would you go turn on your social media and I remind people, say, Cartel just sing a song, say, Paula Lulu Lowling to come suck him hood. And you, the on your social media, say you love the DJ. And I said, DJ, yes, you can tell her, come suck your wood now. Tell them, go ready, tell them, go ready, that cannot work. He's not free. What wanna do? What wanna do? What are you doing? Relax. The final whistle not sound yet.
Yes, Gaza fans, yes, freedom is a possibility as well. But retrial is a possibility. So a two, a two, and up some, and I like a one, up and a freedom, escorted to the me had. And the Privy Council had the, the power to just knock it and say, send them an me had. They did not do that. They didn't do that. And remember, they are friends with the justice system in Jamaica. The justice system in Jamaica and the Privy Council of the United Kingdom all work for the British colony. They are partners. So it's three set of people against one person. Who was that they couldn't? The Privy Council could strike down the case completely. Them could have strike on the case and sent Cartel I'm here. Now, in life and in freedom depends on the Jamaica justice system again. The same system where we run from and go to Privy Council, that can't make sense to me. Let me block that person here. Name Buji Sparta, because you're such a fucking dunce. The man said, me and act like me will want cartel go to prison. Me not will want cartel go to prison. Cartel, they are prison already, you know? I am saying, who no stop? Who are like, who no idiot and pay attention? Pay attention, no man. If you only think about what Futa I've said so far, he clearly stated that when it comes on to like the, 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 the fans them, a lot of the fans them make it worse if vibes cartel, you know, do um based on the energy where them put out going around disrespecting people on a certain level. And even though as we say, vibes cartel himself not really have control over the fans them and you know can tell them what to do but a lot of them would have declared all oh, them love cartel and them love gaza and stuff with. and if you will love cartel and you will love gaza in my view you're supposed to work in the best interest of the artist you see what i say and me think now would have be the time for you just go and calm see and observe and you know hope and pray the thing go in the right proceeding so that is what futa hype has said and futa hype basically even went on and uh, declare the power of even Serpy as well. You see what I mean? I say, and I say, yo, you know, him, you know, based on how, how him see it, Serpy is a part of the government and Serpy is not really a regular blogger and so forth. So a number of things for the hype talk people. Take a listen at the rest of this. Serpy with the Intel. Okay. If you notice Serpy content them about Vibes Cartel get worse the closer the pivot council thing come sir starts start step up the thing then wait man show the world what he might try to implicate sir cartel didn't at this and didn't you know, not realize the timing where sir p have put out them something there and the timing when the conclusion of the pivot council will come on and notice you know, watch them something there you know, watch timing Uno no says it's an orchestrated move. Sir P now move off of ego or off of him own time. Sir P a move off of time where he might try to show the public at large via the internet. Say. Him is a devil and him for staying there. Uno now pay attention, dog. But Sir P now work for himself. Uno no realize now that Sir P is not a vlogger. How the bomb buckler? So, hold on then. So, by now, by now, who do not realize that Sir P is not a regular vlogger? Who do not realize that Sir P is work for the government? Yo, Jamaica people, I'm sorry for you. Know? Jamaica people, you know, I'm sorry for you. Know? If you know, see them here so today. And don't realize, say, Sir P 
is a government agent. But the way of the world now is social media. So then plant him to conquer social media and expose you as a criminal without the justice system. So him can talk and say things where the court can't say. Him can actually talk things based upon speculation and nobody can ridicule him because he's in the public eye. Him is a public figure. Internet free. Can't talk anything about anybody. So now if you understand that why don't you not understand again? Vibes Cartel was not sentenced for the vice notes, you know. When not, this I want to not remember about the case either, you know. Vibes Cartel was not sentenced for the vice notes. The voice notes are actually presented in court to give clarity based upon the prosecution. Them up give that for sure the, the, the jury said, time! Although it is not the basis of which he was sentenced. So when the UK Privy Council strike down the vice note, then because there's no warrant, they never get no warrant figure use the vice note. And not that send them a prison. So if that even strike out of the case, treat people with attack, we need to understand. I know the vice note. So yeah, my people, you know, what want to think. As we other asked from earlier, if you don't feel like Futa Hype was right from the initial stages of what he must say based on how we see things kind of turn out at this moment with the DPP actually seemingly I go seek a retrial people. Tell me what you think about you know the argument there from Futa Hype. And you don't know, tell what you think overall on the topics then. Big up on yourself, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and you know. Respect and manners to all who are supporting the thing. And more. Catch you in another one.